Hello friends, I'm Moom and today's video is a special treat for GNOME users. Well, have you heard about a GNOME extension called Dash to Panel? Well, now you might be wondering like, why am I talking about a panel while the thumbnail is all about a dock? Well, that's the catch. Dash to Panel now has an option which can transform the whole panel and converge it into a dock. That is actually amazing guys. And along with that, there are some more features which actually are beneficial for Linux users, especially GNOME desktop users, which can transform their setups and customization to a next level. Just as you saw on the thumbnail. So yep, let's get right into the video, shall we? So here we are on our Ubuntu. Well, you might be wondering why am I still using Ubuntu? Well, it's obvious because I don't like to switch distributions every time I have to, you know, create a video. And as you can see right now, this is my current Ubuntu Linux setup. And as you can see, this dash slash panel, which actually looks good, you know, it has all the capacities and abilities to perform just like a panel or the GNOME shell you used to see up, you know, top there. And it is now converged into a dash to talk. Now, I will say one thing though. Installing GNOME extensions here on Ubuntu is literally a mess. Even Arch has a better way of installing. Now, leaving all that, this is the thing I was talking about. Dash to panel extensions, which you can find on GNOMEextensions.com. No, well, it's extensions.gnome.org. But let's just open the settings first. And here it is. Now, one thing I forgot to turn on that is intelligent hiding. Well, yeah. Now, let me just enable some important things. And now it looks a little better. And now you have some options to enable a few things. For example, if you want the GNOME top shelf, you can enable it. And yeah, this does look good only and only when you're not using the stuff like, you know, the activities button here and here as well and especially this so you have to turn off a few things in order to make it work just like that now you have a proper gnome dash to dock just like that a good setup but i prefer everything all at one place in the dock so i'll just go back go to fine tune and turn this off there we go now the update is actually here the dynamic panel th length Earlier it was used to look like this but now you can turn it into this and you can add some borders the radius which you can see right now it will it will be just like the square box but you can turn on some radius and it will look like this better isn't it and then you can make all the icons grow grayscale yep that's another feature an update now i'd like to in increase a little side padding you know as you can see the border of a few functions shall not exceed it. Let's say if I go back to the one I had. Now when I go just look at this. This looks so bad. That is why I'll just increase the side pattern a little. So whenever I open it, it does not look bad. Just like that. And I can in increase the top and bottom padding as well. Yep, that is also an option. And not to forget a few margins. Just like you want to hover your, you know, dash to dock which is actually a panel so i believe this is better yep i know it might sound a little more but i believe it is better for me let me just increase the size of it um around this much now you can see this looks so damn gorgeous doesn't it you see that's the strength of linux guys like really you can almost edit every bloody thing here and now everything looks pretty good in my opinion yep it does this is the desktop you saw in the thumbnail, alright? And yeah, it actually looks gorgeous. And yeah, another thing, I turned out the dynamic, you know, opacity. So whenever I go close or near to it, it will go dark. And if I go even more, then it will hide. But if it's a little far up ahead, then it will be like this. Well, this is better. And now this opens a lot of opportunities for GNOME customizers and the, the people who create, you know, Linux Rises. Well, there's another extension I always use, which is Blur My Shell. You see, whenever you go to this place, the blur around here looks just gorgeous. And that's the stuff I like. That is why I've enabled it. And now if I enable the panel blur, it will just ruin it. Like really ruin it. So I always keep it turned off. And even if I go to dash to dock, then well, there's no dock here. It's actually panel, which looks better than a GNOME dock. 
sorry, it's just I have a little cough and cold. <clears throat> well, leaving that, I've turned off Ubuntu Dog, which actually looks awful. But this one, this looks beautiful. And now, along with that, a lot of people might want to install a proper menu. Just like a start menu, you would like an arc menu. This is widely used in GNOME customizations, especially when you want to get a proper like. You can just imagine whenever you click a start menu, it will load up a very beautiful start menu at the bottom of the window, the display. That'll be just gorgeous and that has given me an idea of a GNOME customization which is coming in the next video. Well, why don't we just do it right now? But still, I will create another video, alright? Don't judge me, it's just I'd like to create a specific video about GNOME setup. Dismiss, go to extensions, no, install extensions, arc menu, go to settings, let me just hide that. And there it is. As you can see, this is the arc menu I was talking about. And now it's time to edit this stuff. Starting with the menu layout for which I'll be going on with a more traditional one here. I like this easy one but let's just explore a few more options for example touch menus from chrome os or the launcher menu from runner or some alternative ones which I don't prefer so let's just go on with modern menus but in that we'll be going on with easy there it is so whenever we click it will open it like that which I don't like let's just go on with something better what about windows 11 yep this looks a little better now let's just properly edit this stuff all right going to the menu theme now let me just change a few stuff for example this one no light blue there we go but now we have to change the size and align nation of this stuff so let's just do it now first we go to the menu visual appearances and now change the menu's location to the bottom centered there we go just like that but we need to make it a little more better well what about monitor centered no definitely not bottom centered but we need a rise because we have raised it before let me just increase it a little more a little a little more maybe now it looks better <laughs> sorry now let's just go to some windows 11 tweaks as well well there's not much here well i was wondering a few stuff for example if possible, I'd like this to be a little transparent and blurry. You know what I mean. Well, there are a few menu themes as well. So let's just search on Chrome. Arc menu theme. There we go. Maybe not. Let's just go to images and find one which actually would look good. Or maybe I'll have to just make my own. Yep, you heard it right. I'll be doing all of it myself. Starting with the background color. Now, let me just make it dark first there we go now let me just change the background color to a little darkish there now the foreground color shall be white maybe yes how about now mm, well about the border color let's just go on with the gray no let's just make this one a little gray select and this one dark as black now it looks a little better but definitely not that better well let me just remove the border increase the font size to the maximum definitely not this is a little better now the separate color which i don't know what they're talking about all right i had to do one thing for sure the transparency now definitely not the transparency shall be a little around there maybe like this much uh-huh looks good but not that good it shall be black ish grayish around there make it approximately this much now it it is looking a little better now let me just save it as a theme like e but now i believe i should change the menus layout as i don't like it now there is one thing for sure like i'd like the menu to be a little larger in size so is there any option to do that maybe maybe not maybe here increase the height to double up approximately hey i believe i Okay, this looks a little better. Alright then, now it looks better. It should be a little more thick, but a little more in height as well. Now we are talking about it. Now about pinned applications as we can see. Not pinned, the ones which are frequent. Let me just remove arc menu from here. Well, pin to arc menu. Yep, I am doing that. Just randomly selecting things and pushing them into the arc menu. Now it looks okay-ish, 
but I'd like a few more applications in the frequent, which maybe are the reflections of what I do open, maybe. Or maybe I should just go on and, well, we can disable the frequent apps as well. But what will I do after that? Maybe I should change the menu's layout a little better, like maybe elementary, maybe elementary. Or uh, what about Chrome OS? This actually looks okay-ish. What about this sleek? Alright, this looks better a little but i will need to change my you know use it now let's just do something with the menu button because the icon does not look good so let's just go there and here i believe i should go on with this ubuntu's logo maybe yep because i am using ubuntu so yeah for obviousness let me just increase the size of it yep that much maybe pardon yeah that'll be okay yep that is it but i'd like it a little bigger you know for obviousness a little bigger well i have you know an idea but yeah i'll take a look at that later now most of the stuff is done i believe yep most of the stuff is done with the customization except yeah i forgot the color scheme menus visual appearances no not here maybe it was at the fine tune place no all right menus theme i forgot choose the d no e theme there it is. Definitely not okay. So I have an idea. Why don't I just make it pure white and black? Maybe like that. Wow, pure white and black? Maybe like that. That looks good. Okay. Okay, okay. So yeah, it's done at last. Yep, it is done. And I believe that was the showcase of the new update in this, what do you call it? Gnome extension, which actually was worth covering because like this is a big step for GNOME users, especially when customizing the GNOME desktop. Well, it could be done in some complicated ways, but now it is just purely simple and beautiful. So I believe that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for consistent videos about tech and technology, well tech and technology are the same thing. Yep, it is gonna take some time to get me back on track with the YouTube stuff. Well, then I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm Oak, signing out.